Welcome back to JB Reviews. I found a cabin chassis GMC Sierra 3500. Now, this truck does have the 14,000 pound GVWR. I think that GM is really sleeping on this truck here. Really good pickup truck. If you get the trucks with the beds on them, they can tow over 30,000 pounds. And I really do think that GM should really step their game up on this truck to compete better with Ford and Ram. Special shout out to Jerry Siner, Buick GMC here in South Jordan, Utah. Matt Tilton is the commercial guy here. If you would like to order a truck with him, be sure to give him a look up. I will put his number here in the video. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Now this is gonna be the winner sticker for the truck in the video. And here are all the specs. Titanium Rush Metallic is what this truck was painted in. And then here's all the standard equipment. Be sure to pause it to see more. And base price is gonna be $66,000. $100 and here are all the options now one thing I want to point out is this truck did have the bed deleted so if you would like to get an SLT you can delete that bed now I'm not sure if you can do that on any other trim level but on the lower ones you can do that and it's actually a decent uh, decrease in price $2,125 now I guess the point now is to try to figure out how much it costs to go get a bed but this truck does have the SLT convenience package and it gives you a lot of good stuff. And destination charge comes in at $18.95. Total price is $79,853. Really quickly guys, before we get started on the review, someone ran into me. This is Justin. What's up guys? In the flesh. <laughs> you're, you're from Arizona, right? I'm from Arizona. I watch uh, JB reviews all the time. I got my truck over here that i bought based off of jb reviews uh videos i've watched a ton of them uh he's doing a great job and that's that's basically how why i bought my truck is that's awesome man. all the information so that's all i appreciate it brother yeah absolutely man awesome man i appreciate you thanks for all the videos yep absolutely man absolutely i think justin is like the third or fourth person to see me film up here it's like a hill and yeah i guess i gotta start switching it up but he's a cool dude and he didn't even ask for my phone number which i don't give out anyways because i don't answer it because i don't have it on me right now i don't know where my phone is by the way i need to find that real quickly but nevertheless let's finish off this video on the front end this slt has a lot of chrome i would like to see maybe a painted bumper option because this is a big face grill and it's really bright full led headlights and fog lights down below you guys can see tow hooks now this trunk piece below, it doesn't match anything else on the truck. It's kind of interesting. Now off to the side, you do have a badge that says 3500. Engine block heater, and really quickly, there's no frontal camera and no front parking sensors on this truck. If you're looking at a GMC for 2024, you definitely want to buy it with these 18 inch wheels. They come standard with 17s, and this is a LT23580. 18 and then here are the capacities 3195 pounds for a single and then 2910 for dual 80 psi and then if you live in canada here's the kilograms independent front suspension a little bit of chrome on the mirrors and there's a light that does shine forward there's a backup light here if you're backing up your trailer definitely a lot of chrome on the slt trucks by the way around the windows, door handles, smart key system on the front doors there. And one thing I love about the cabin chassis is you get to really see the framing on this truck. Now, this is gonna be a 36 gallon fuel tank. And I've been kind of considering upgrading to a 60 gallon. And I'm kind of glad I get to see this because I kind of have an idea of what I need to do in order to get all this stuff undone. So. I'm actually happy to see this right now. Nevertheless, here's your suspension. Four leaves in the main pack. You have three overloads. And as far as the wax frame goes, I don't love it, but I don't think it's that bad, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. But there is a spray you can buy to kind of touch it up. But you can't spray this with a power wash because it'll come right off. I've actually seen it happen a couple times. They do provide a steel wheel out back on this setup. Incandescent tail lights on this truck. And that spare tire, as you guys saw, was an option. So 
all in all this is a really nice spec truck if you do like horse trailer hauling or any type of hot shot this is a good setup for someone who doesn't want a actual pickup truck bed GM does give you a functional hood scoop on their trucks you guys can see right there too now last year this Duramax was not detuned and I'm going to assume for this year it's going to be 470 horsepower 975 pound-feet of torque 10 speed transmission first second and third gear are pretty deep the truck does have 342 out back um, that's something I think GM should probably change they, they should maybe go to like a 373 option especially for a dually and cabin chassis configuration that's just my opinion but this is a really good setup I do like that they're not participating in the horsepower and torque wars because hey these trucks have great performance and from what I've seen they can do just about what the Ram and the Ford can do going up to steep grades now what's so cool about this truck is the interior Bose sound system leather appointments with stitching wood trim piece although it is fake your four-wheel drive system and drive modes lighting electronic parking brake and this does have a 10-way driver seat this one does have the center console which you don't normally see in a cabin chassis so this is a nice luxury truck push button start and as far as the mirrors go you do have power functions to put them in tow mode they do power fold as well this is a 12.3 inch screen and I'm going to go ahead and customize for it. So here's the before and here's the after. So I changed the design. I added a tire pressure right there with the transmission temperature right there. I added more information down below. So this whole screen is fully customizable. This is a 13.4 inch screen, which is class leading. And it's very customizable too. So you can take out some of the stuff in here. You can put your camera system in there if you like. Um, I can add stuff back in. You can move stuff around within this menu. Trailering app is probably one of the best. If you do have tire pressure monitoring built into your trailer tires from GMC, you can basically see on this smaller screen over here, the tire pressure. I love that they do that. Down below exhaust brake, you have that lane keep assist. It's just like a warning if you hit the line. Caution lights, traction control right there. Electronic trailer brake, and as you guys saw, ventilated and heated seats this truck does have a heated steering wheel love the designs that they give you right there dual climate control look at the storage you have this interior does mimic the chevy trucks by the way this has the wireless phone charger i like that gmc puts it right here because it kind of keeps the phone out of sight which is a safety thing that they did perforated leather with some stitching on the center console right here and a little bit of storage up top. So if you get the premium interior like you get on the AT4 Denali and the Denali Ultimate, this does go away. At the top, there is no place to store your sunglasses, LED lights, and you have a light right there. Here's the passenger side. And then some of the storage above and below. It looks like this truck cannot be used for a truck camper by the way if it gets the uh, bed deleted and you're gonna have a 10-way seat on the passenger side and then just check out some of the treatments to the interior a little bit of storage right there out back 60 40 bench they do still give you this storage for the seat backs armrest right here two USBs right there by the way they had let me show you where the USBs are real quickly up the front You have two on the side right there, and there's two more right there. Now, as far as the numbers go, because this is considered factory incomplete, you're not gonna have any of the payload numbers for this truck, but the gross vehicle weight ratings right there and the axle ratings, and here's the only other sticker that they give you. But I'm willing to bet you this truck probably has over 5,000 pounds. I would say 53 to 5,400 pounds of payload without the bed out back. So, hope you guys liked the video. Special shout out again to Jerry Signer here in South Jordan, Utah. If you are in the market, be sure to ask for Matt Tilton. Let him know you saw the video. See you guys soon.